it's me, President Obama, and I just look at what the Christians have done to Donald J. Trump. It is so sad that the Christians, in their imagination, run away with them, saying they don't use things, and now they got poor Donald J. Trump in a, men- a mental state. You see, that's why I, President Obama, I said I'm Christian, and I guess I'm Muslim, because, you know, a Christian Muslim nation, but, but they at the same time, you know, uh, as you can see, the Muslims, I mean, the Christians, they have President Obama, I know they have foreign president, Donald J. Trump, excuse me, in such a secluded state, they have him mentally impaired, and as you can see, he thought that he had authority to use the Bible, to use scripture, and as you can see, what the Christians have done, they lied, they Gaslit the man. They told the man, "Oh, yeah, you, Mr. Trump, you're here, you're there, and you're a bunch of sycophants advocating for violence, advocating for January 6th, and advocating for all the wrong things." And as you can see, when you advocate for the wrong things, you see what happened: bunch of false prophets, pink-haired people visiting the heavens, visiting hell, visiting here, visiting there. A bunch of people talking a bunch of nonsense, and that's just why you know Donald J. Trump. He knows. That he just should have been an atheist all along, I followed his own way, and not, not, you know, do what these people say. Not, you know, and now he's lost this, he's lost that, and now, as you can see, he's defamed. That's what Christianity does to people, Christianity. That's why so many people leave that religion, and as you can see, when most leave the religion, they become atheists, they don't go to the other religion, and that's the fact. So... The Christians, you've seen what they've done. You see these apologists, you've seen what they've done. These guys, you've seen what they've done. Now they, you know, now what's going to be their excuse? Tell me, what's going to be the excuse that they have? I'm putting Paul, Don J, Trump, behind bars. Well, even he, you know, if he doesn't go behind bars, his mind is behind bars. I talked over with Sasha, with my wife, you know, and Michelle, getting that dairy out together, like always, eating French fries from McDonald's. McDonald's French fries are getting a little better. But, uh, yeah. Look what this Christianity does to you. Just look. Just look what it does to the poor guy. Just look. Look at the guy. Now, he doesn't know who he is. He went from being a mogul, a real estate mogul, with a lot of real estate, Trump Towers, this and that, and had beautiful ladies, beautiful women, and beautiful children, to look to a whiny brat. A whiny brat that doesn't know. So, how do you see your Christians apologize to Donald J. Trump? Apologize. Don't give him any reasons why this happened. I mean, apologize to the man. Look what you've done. Do you see what your religion and what your God that does not exist causes? It's me, President Obama. Now I have to take over it and do what's right.